is Thanksgiving morning. Happy Thanksgiving. So it's about 6.30 and sister and I are up this morning. We're getting ready to do two things very specifically. We're getting ready to cook our turkey and we're going to put on our cranberry sauce. So let me tell you a little bit about my turkey. This is a turkey I got at Harris Teeter two weeks ago for $6.04, a uh, $0.47 cent a pound with a $40 additional purchase. So I brined him last night and I brined him in some brown sugar, some salt, some pepper, some allspice, and I think that's all I used on him last night. So I took him out of the pot, rinsed him off really well. He still does have some brown uh, black pepper on him and you can actually see where he's gotten a sugar um, where that sugar has actually gone underneath his skin but that's okay we're gonna stuff him this morning with a couple of different things and then we're going to massage him down really really well and after we do all of that let me remove that out I do um, there's normally a butt here and some extra overlay of skin I like to remove that I'm not a turkey skin fan and then if I see some fat turkey is relatively lean but if I see some additional fats I do like to pull that off because it's not my fave um, of course fat helps with uh, the cooking but I do like to have that off removed all of the giblets out of his neck and I'm gonna save that for gravy later and I'm just gonna remove a little bit of top skin that I see left because that's not my fave so anyway, he's going to be relatively simple to stuff. And if you look, his cavity is clean. And we're going to shove in what we have. I have three small onions. And I'm going to shove him really full. I've got one apple. I've cut this in half. I've got an orange and some lemon. And I'm going to stuff in. So one orange, one lemon cut in quarters. That citrus is going to be nice in there. I'm actually going to stuff that down in the cavity a little bit. And then we're going to stuff the rest of our onions. Now we won't eat any of this fruit stuffing, but it's just going to help to flavor him a little bit. And we're just going to stuff in the rest of what we have and then our apple. See if we can get it in there. All right. So he's pretty full. To this, we are simply going to salt and black pepper him. I'm going to wash my hands a little. We do want to salt him a little. Normally, people salt the inside of the cavity. I'm not going to particularly worried about that because we're not going to be eating. Um, we're going to eat the meat underneath, and I'm going to stuff some seasoning in there. So I'm not worried about just particularly inside of his cavity. I'm calling him a boy because, just because I've got a, um, it's just what I want to do. Hope your morning has started off well. Make sure to um, salt those wings. Okay. My turkey probably is a little bit less traditional than some. But it's always turned out extremely well. My kids never, never, never complain. And if they complain, they don't do it to my face. And I forgot my celery. Who does that? Who forgets to stuff your celery in here with your onion? Me. So I cut up a couple. I told my son last night, I said, son, bring me a bunch of celery. <laughs> he brought a bunch. Two of them. I said, son, I said a bunch. He said, mom, you told me to get a lot. I said, I said a bunch, lovely, a bunch. I'm just going to throw this, um, the rest of these celery pieces just around for some of those juices. We just cut it up last night and threw it in the fridge so that we would have it for this morning. So it's just going to go in here. Probably the stuff that we pumped in his neck. Anywho, so we're up. It's only going to take about 3 hours and 15 minutes for him to cook. I'm a definitely Thanksgiving morning cook. I don't like to be up all the night before. It just doesn't work for my personality. I need my sleep, but I'm a morning person. So he is stuffed in. I don't tuck his wings or anything. I just leave them like that. I'm going to 
wash my hands a little bit. Where we've been working this morning, I've got my garbage bowl going. Good morning. Um, so I've got him all stuffed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a herb butter. And then I'm actually going to take just some regular butter and stuff this inside of him. But for the outside of him, I'm going to do the herb butter on the outside. And I'm actually going to do some Italian dressing as well. Some Italian dressing will go into that herb butter and to go on the outside of him. So this is just a stick of salted butter that I'm going to cut in cubes or chunks. And I'm going to shove this inside because this butter is salted. It's going to help with um, flavoring him from the inside. And so I'm just going to cut this up. I've got my oven preheated to 325. I may need to bump that up to 350, but I'm going to leave it at 325 for right now. So I'm going to take his skin, and I'm going to get up under underneath here where his legs and thighs are. I'm going to push that all the way around to the back so that the back of the chicken, I mean the turkey, can get... Um, flavored as well and so I'm just going to run my finger through this skin to separate it out a little bit and then I'm going to shove in as far as it will allow me without damaging the integrity of the skin I'm just going to shove it up and through there and this butter will begin to melt and then what it's going to do and I'm just taking my finger and rubbing it and moving it back around through those thighs and his legs and then um, just as much of that in there as I can get. And then I like to go underneath his breast skin a little bit, again without damaging the integrity of the skin. And I like to stick some butter underneath there as well. So I'm just doing one stick today. All right. So he is thoroughly stuffed. Make sure my stuffing goes right back in there. I'm going to have to manipulate those butter pieces in. Because I do want him to be nice and flavorful. Okay. Now, I'm going to finish up with the herb butter. And I'm just taking a little bit of this. It's the softened country crock. It doesn't have to be anything special. Normally, I probably would have let another stick of butter just sit out last night and um, do get to room temperature. So, to that... I'm going to wipe my hand. I'm hoping to wipe my hand because if not, I won't be able to turn this grinder. To this, I'm going to do some cracked black pepper. If I can get my wet hands to work this morning. I'm just going to crack the black pepper over the butter because I don't want to leave little specks on top of my turkey. Alright, so I've got butter, cracked black pepper in there. I'm going to add in some garlic powder. Just whatever's left in there. This is a big turkey. He's 13 pounds. He's going to cook for 15 minutes per pound. I've got some onion powder I'm going to throw in. And yes, I did flavor it with a full onion, but I still like this on the outside. And this is some pork roast rub. Don't ask, it just works. To that, I'm going to add in some Italian seasoning or Italian dressing. This is going to go into this herb butter mixture, and then we're going to stir and slather. Stir and slather is the way to do it, people. Stir and slather, if you can get it open. It just gives it a nice color. It, um has oil in it so it helps to keep him nice and moist and then I'm just going to take my fork mash 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 and then what I was thinking about this morning when I was um, preparing in my head to cook <laughs> to get my turkey ready is you're going to actually just take this turkey I'm going to take this um, herb butter like you would a baby when you wash him and you Get him out of the tub and he's nice and um, clean. And you're just going to take this and apply it just like that. 
just like you would be putting that lotion on your hands and you would be applying that to your baby, you know, how you love him. So my aunt told me, shared, she shared with me years and years ago, she said, the secret to cooking is love, is adding a little bit of love. And I think about that every time I cook. I love the people I cook for, my kids mainly. Um, we'll, we'll cook for anybody. We, we are okay with cooking for you. Um, the people who are now watching me cook, I love the fact that I get comments and people say, oh, I didn't think about this, or hey, I'm just learning how to cook and your videos are helping. Thanks for posting that. I get a lot of comments like, I'm a single mom as well. Um, and that makes me happy that to know that I'm helping somebody. And so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna do those wings. I'm getting down underneath his wings on the back. And this is just sitting on top of him, but it will uh, begin to melt. And then we can save a little bit of this to baste him with. Just throw some inside of the cavity there as well. Get those legs real good. He don't look like much, but he gonna taste like something. That's all I'm saying. So to me, he looks good. If my older son were in here, he'd be like, oh, mom. He is a pro mom fan. So I'm just gonna wash my hands up a little bit, throw him in the oven, and then I wanna show you my crock pot cranberry sauce. So let me wash my hands up so there's no crop contamination. That would be horrible. I've got my garbage bowl here because I do plan to just go with everything to the garbage after I just wash my hands. Nice one, Mom. Okay. So my hands are clean, hands are dry. We're going to put everything up. Turkey's going into the oven. Yeah, I do listen. I try to listen. I try to remember those lessons. I remember that every time. You gotta love. That's the secret ingredient. So, actually, I want to foil him really fast. Let me just put a little bit of foil on him. He's going in a 325 degree oven. I'll pull that foil off in a little while. I just want to get all those juices secured before I put it on. So I'm gonna lightly foil him. I'm gonna foil him too. 325 degree oven, and he's gonna cook for three hours and 15 minutes. So he should be done by 10 o'clock. Now, over here, and I got this recipe from the Frugal Chicks. The Frugal Chicks. Note to self, when you turn your crock pot on high, make sure you plug the crock pot in. Ooh, mm. Anywho, so I'm going to do a crock pot cranberry sauce. We prepped all this stuff last night, but I'm going to just go back over it to make sure it's clean. Now, if you have not found these, please, this will change your life. This is a Reynolds slow cooker liner. This right here is a game changer in the crock pot world because now you no longer have to wash the crock. You use this little bag and it is big enough to fit. This is a rounded crock and I actually have a oval crock. This is my sister's crock. She let me borrow it. Thank you, sister. So it works just like an oven bag for your turkey and I did not use an oven bag this time for my turkey. But this is a crock pot bag. And so what you do is you sit him in, then you fold him over, and all of the contents are going to go in your crock pot bag. When you're done cooking everything and you've eaten your meal, you've eaten everything, you simply fold up your crock pot bag and it goes in the trash can. Very minimal cleanup in the crock, especially if you're cooking things that will stick, like I'm going to do these cranberries and they will candy. So... The cleanup may not be the best. I love a convenience tool. So, to this pot, I'm going to add in one bag of whole cranberries. These are whole cranberries. I'm going to go rinse them off really quick because if I don't, it's going to make my nerves bad. So, I'm going to rinse these real fast. Rinse. 
And I will pick through these to make sure I don't have any bad ones. So that's one whole bag, one bag of whole cranberries. These look pretty good. I actually had one in there. I have to pull out. And his cousin. There we go. So that's one bag. Now my son, my oldest son, likes this. My two younger kids, maybe not as much. To this, we're going to add in a quarter cup of water. One quarter cup of water. I'm going to add in, it calls for three quarters cup of orange marmalade. And we just got the great value cut on the Walmart cut. Didn't have to be special. I mean, you can use Smuckers if you like. But I'm going to do three quarters cup of orange marmalade. You can also use apricot or peach, depending on just whatever you like. So that's one quarter cup. This is one quarter cup. And this is going to be the third quarter cup. And a scoop. For good measure. <laughs> oh, get it all out now. Don't leave nothing in there. Get it all in. So if you look at this marmalade, it's got the orange zest pieces in there. I don't have a zester, so this just worked really well. So that's the marmalade plus the zest is already in. This is not called for on the recipe, but I'm adding it in because I like my cranberry sauce a little bit sweeter. So I'm going to add in a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar to your tasting, not to measuring. And then I'm also going to do just a sprinkle of regular white sugar. Again, to your tasting. We like it a little sweeter. And I only make this at Thanksgiving. I never make it any other time of the year. To that, I'm going to add in the remainder or a little bit of the... Um, Ground cinnamon. You could do cinnamon sticks and pull them out at the end if you want to. But I'm just going to add in a little bit of ground cinnamon. And that's going to pretty much finish out that little bit. Oh. Oh, good. I know that's right. These cranberries is a game changer. That's all I'm saying. And I'm actually just going to break off what's in here you want to get it all in now you're going to cook this for three hours on high three hours then you're going to take the pot off the lid off and cook it for 30 more minutes so about the same time that the turkey's going to be done the cranberry sauce is going to be done and in full disclosure i'm going to add in one can of whole cranberry sauce because I don't have enough of this. I only got one um, bag and I probably should have gotten two. So I am going to add in this kind of towards the end after these cranberries start to pop open. So you want to cook them on high until they pop open about three hours. And then in three hours you take the top off. And it's going to make your house smell really good. And it's going to be amazing. So if you do try it, post some pictures later and let me know what it looks like. You can leave me some comments. Anywho, we're going to clean up and head back um, to do a little bit more Christmas decorating. Thank you for joining us this morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.